Hey, this is Judge bringing you an exotic weapon bounty guide. I got these three that came up, Tolan's Legacy, A Light in the Dark, and A Dubious Task. Now, A Light in the Dark is for Thorn, which is an exotic hand cannon, and A Dubious Task is for the Shotgun Invective, which does solar damage. But I took Tolan's Legacy, and that's going to give us the Bad Muju Pulse Rifle. So, first up, let's check out what we have to do first. Um, you're just going to go into your inventory and click over here. All you have to do for the first phase is complete a weekly heroic or nightfall strike. Alright, so after you do that, you'll come back to the tower. You'll turn this in and she'll give you the next stage of the bounty. And this is where it gets a little bit of a grind. You have to complete 25 strikes of any kind. Now, I didn't go ahead and try to get those 25 strikes in a day or anything like that. I actually just kept playing the game as I normally would and just let it happen. So we were doing a bounty completing the Devil's Lair and that just happened to be my 25th one. But then you're gonna go back to the Weaponsmith and he's gonna tell you that you have to go find Zern. Now, he only shows up on Fridays and Saturdays, so if you hit this at the beginning of the week, you're gonna be dying just waiting for this guy to come back. So once he does, though, go check him out, and he's gonna get you in the next phase of the bounty. And if you need to know more about Zer, just go check out my Destiny video playlist. I've got a video on him. But this is the next one. You have to go back to the Weaponsmith, and he is gonna tell you you have to defeat Guardians in the Crucible. And when I first got this, I was like, oh man, this is gonna stink. You know, I just wanna do PvE. I don't wanna do PvP. And then I looked at it, I'm like, 10 thousand I was like I was hoping that I didn't have to kill 10,000 but that's just experience and it's amazing how fast that came out and to be honest with you I really didn't like PvP before this but working on this actual part of this actually I started to enjoy the game and started to find my rhythm in PvP so I'm kind of grateful that it was actually a part of this weapon bounty but if you're an average player and get probably like uh, 10 to 12 kills around it's probably gonna take you about 20 games to finish this off if you're averaging you know in the 20s it's probably gonna take you 10 or less games but after you do that then it is pretty much done you're gonna go back to the weaponsmith and I think he's gonna give it to you. There it is, yeah, bad juju. So this is a pulse rifle, and I'll open it up so that you can see all the various upgrades. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, this gun, as you're gonna see over on the left-hand side, says it's full auto. That doesn't mean that it fires like an auto rifle. That means when you hold the trigger down, it will keep shooting bursts. So it'll shoot burst, burst, burst. You don't have to squeeze the trigger each time. Also has kinetic damage, uh, less recoil, but a penalty to impact, you know, predictable and controllable recoil so there's some different things you can hip fire this thing and it gets a bonus an upgraded damage boost right there that you don't have to use ascendant uh, energy armor piercing rounds looking forward to upgrading that uh, increased range and accuracy that might be good too perfect balance and string of curses which looks really interesting it reloads instantly and gives you a bonus uh, damage after every kill so there's another damage upgrade that doesn't require descendant energy and then there are three that will require that ascendant energy but this is what it looks like in action as you can see this thing is awesome looking now the one bad part of the about this weapon is that its magazine size is only 15 that means you get five bursts before you have to reload so i think that instant reload is going to really come in handy. You really need to get this gun up to that point. But you can just squeeze the trigger once and you'll do one burst, or you can hold it down and you'll keep burst firing. But as you're going to see right here, um, you just have to reload this thing quite often when you're shooting people. And I'm trying to be as efficient as possible early on so you can see that. But then we're going to get into some Kells guards up ahead, and I think you're going to see what I'm talking about. But see how I'm having to reload every time. Uh, so you need to be very aware of that, but it seems like a nice weapon. Like I said, I love the way this thing looks. Let me know if you have this, and let me know if you know anything about it. Is it pretty awesome? Have you noticed anything about it? Uh, are you not liking it? I know they've talked about, Bungie has talked about actually doing some upgrades to some of the exotic weapons. So I have a feeling this one might get uh, some sort of buff. I don't know, I could be wrong about that, but I hope it does because it seems a little bit, uh, you know, it seems nice, but I think just the magazine size being only 15 rounds is a little bit weird. Now, I haven't tried this in PvP. I have been killed by this quite a few times, so I know people are liking that. If you've tried it in PvP, let me know that as well. But as you can see, you know, two-shotting people at range. You can pick off people's heads just up close. 
I don't know, seems a little bit lacking, at least compared to like an auto rifle or something like that. And you have to keep in mind too, you know, I am an auto rifle person, I love auto rifles. So, you know, if you're a pulse rifle person or a scout rifle person, this thing might just be awesome and everything like that. But as you can see right there, it's doing some work. So it's not too bad. I guess I shouldn't talk too bad about it. But that's all I got for you. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you've completed any exotic weapon bounties. And let me know what you've got. But guys, as always, take care and God bless.